Hey, it's Tony with the Code Guys. Today is my first After Effects tutorial. The first thing I'm going to cover is compositions and how to nest them. You may ask, why would I ever want to nest a composition? Well, you can consider a composition kind of like a container that holds your artwork or um, your clips. The example I'm going to use is something really simple that you can do. I'm going to create a, a an animated box, and that animated box I'm just going to take a box here and I'm going to move it across the screen. So I'm going to go to rectangle and I'm going to hit P for position and click the stopwatch to set the first keyframe. Then I'm going to drag over to one second and I'm going to move this box all the way across the screen. It doesn't have to be perfect, just bam. Okay, so this composition shows a block moving across the screen. Simple, anybody can do it. Now what you want to do is you want to create a new composition and I'm going to create one that's multi-boxes and I'm going to drag this first composition we did that was a placeholder to basically hold the box moving across the screen down into the multi boxes. And if you do that more than once, you'll have multiple boxes there. Um, and this multi box composition is, ba is just holding nested composition. So if I hit play now, both of the boxes move across the screen. So the great thing about this is if you add another animated box in, drag it down. They're all moving at the same um, speed across the timeline. Now, say we do a very sophisticated composition. This is just a box, but you decide, oh, I want to change something in my composition, but I've used all these elements. Well, you can go back to your original animated box and do something like click on the keyframes, use Use your animation, use your ease, easy ease on that. And when you go back to your multi boxes, all of them use the easy ease. That's really neat. Um, the other thing that you can do is say you wanted to change something in your uh, in all of your keyframes. Say you wanted it to come here and dip a little bit. Well. Change that in one of your animated boxes. Go back to multi box, and they all did. So you can see where this really does add some flexibility into your building um, compositions. Let's take it another level and go to multi boxes again and that's got three of our boxes in there and let's build a new composition many more boxes so if we take if we open many more boxes and drag several multi boxes in repositioning and moving them maybe even flipping their rotation 180 degrees Then we start to get some interesting elements that go back and forth. Uh, you can make smaller ones. You can, in, in a very short period of time, you can make a lot of objects on the screen that add interest and flesh out your, your animations. Um, this is a real simple idea as far as using boxes, but if you can imagine using it with elements that are more artistic, you can really get some cool effect. Well, what I'm trying to teach you here is the concept of nesting, uh, nesting compositions, and um, that's really important. To, it's a little bit tricky if you've never worked with nesting. If you've worked with Flash, Flash has a symbol inside of another symbol inside of another symbol, and um, it's, it's the same kind of container idea. So I hope this is clear enough for people that are just getting started with compositions. 
uh, it's really exciting when, when it clicks in your head that you can make one composition and use it throughout your different composition, your different uh, more advanced compositions. So things like swaying trees or moving grass can all be simple animated compositions with their own life that you can add to bigger compositions. So I hope this helps. Please give us some feedback on if this was helpful or not. And if you have some ideas or some comments on how you can improve nesting compositions, please let us know. Uh, we'd like to open up a dialogue with people that are using After Effects, and, and I really would like to get some input on how these videos should go. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.